So here's where part of the problem is with HRT. Progesterone is very beneficial for cardiovascular health, stimulates hair growth, calms mood, promotes sleep, 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 sleep for that meno insomnia, prevents breast cancer. So progesterone, great, except then in the synthetic HRT, we're not getting progesterone, we're getting a synthetic version called progestin or level norgesterol. I can never say that, level norgesterol. So progestin is this synthetic version. And progestin increases the risk of fatal blood clots, can actually cause hair loss because of its similarity to testosterone. And actually when you look here chemically, the synthetic progestin and testosterone are almost exact. Causes, may cause anxiety and depression, increases the risk of breast cancer, and it's in the marina coil and all of the combined HRT pills. Now when we've got women who are, let's go back here, if we've got testosterone exciter, estrogen exciter, progesterone calming, if we've now got progestin exciter, wow, what's happening to our bodies? Wow, we've just got women, like I have had women crawling into my clinic, literally twitching. I just don't know what's wrong with me. I'm like, yeah, I do, yeah. And of course, after the ovaries stop producing our hormones, it's our adrenal glands that take over. So if our adrenal glands are just exhausted and broken, how are they gonna do this job at all? They can't. And then adding the progestin, we're now just compound, compounding the issue because we've got a body that is wired and what's our response to being wired? More stress hormones, more stress hormones.